Hi Bacho. So I have an antenatal patient here with me and let me show you how Lupal's maneuvers are performed. Very very important for your uh, undergraduate exams, for your practicals, viva and also important for your NEET PG exams. Now uh, when we are doing Lupal's maneuver, you have to stand on the right hand side of the patient. Please tell the patient to empty her bladder. Adequately you should cover your patient. Right, that is very important. If it is cold, please warm your hands and then put your hands on the patient's abdomen. Now, in when you are doing Blue Paul's maneuvers, the first three maneuvers, they are done when you face the patient and fourth maneuver is done when you face the patient's feet. First three are done when you face the face towards the face of the patient. Now, before performing Blue Paul's maneuver, let us see what her gestational age is. For that, we are going to do a fundal height examination. For fundal height, I am taking the ulnar border of my left hand and starting from Ziffy sternum, I am going to come down. And wherever I am going to feel the resistance, wherever I am going to feel the uh, upper border of the uterus, that is the place where the fundal height is. Now, as you can see in my patient, the fundal height is, it is mid, uh, you know, it is two-third distance from umbilicus to ziffy sternum. So either this patient is 32 weeks or this patient is 40 weeks. My patient is 40 weeks pregnant, right? Now, I am going to do the Leupold's maneuver. For Leupold's maneuver, first maneuver, I am going to face towards the face of the patient. Now, facing towards the face of the patient, I am going to use both my hands and I am going to put it in the fundal area. Be very gentle when you are performing these maneuvers. So, I am going to palpate the fundal area. Right? This is what is called as the fundal grip and this is Leupold's first maneuver. In fundal grip, what I am feeling is a broad and a smooth structure, which means I am feeling the buttocks of the baby. That means the head of the baby is down and this is cephalic presentation, right? Now, Lupal's first maneuver tells you not only about presentation, it tells you about the lie of the patient. How? If you are feeling any part in the uh, fundal grip, that means it is uh, the lie is longitudinal. Because if it would have been a transverse lie, if the baby would have been placed transversely, then the fundal grip would have been empty. So the first thing what Leupold's first maneuver is telling you is about the lie of the baby. In this case, I am feeling something that means this is longitudinal lie. And as I told you, I am feeling that there is a broad and a smooth part. That means I am feeling the buttocks, which means this is cephalic presentation. Now, if I would have felt a hard, firm, globular structure, that means I was feeling the head and that means buttocks were at the bottom, which means it was breech presentation. From the fundal area, I am going to bring my hands to the lateral side of the umbilicus, right? Like this. Now, I am going to stabilize my one hand and with the other hand, slowly I will try to feel what I am feeling, right? On one side, then you stabilize this side and you try to feel on this side. Now, in this case, what I am feeling is that on the right hand side I can feel multiple glob uh, you know multiple knob like structures this means that I am feeling the limbs of the baby on the right side whereas I am feeling a continuous board like structure on the left side which means back of the baby is towards the left side now wherever is the back of the baby definitely the occiput will be towards that side right? Wherever is the back, the occiput has to be towards that side. So because I am feeling the back of the baby on the left side, that means the occiput is on the left side. In other words, this second Leupold maneuver, which is called as the lateral grip or which is also called as the umbilical grip, is telling you what? It is telling you about the position of the baby, right? How? Wherever is the back, at that place is the occiput and in my patient, the back is towards the left side, which means that the position of the baby is LOA or LOT. So it has to be left position. If back is on the right side, it means the position is right. Right? ROT or ROA or ROP. 
Now I am going to bring a single hand towards the pelvis area. Just above the pubic symphysis, I am going to place my hand and I am again with my hand trying to feel what I can feel. Now, what I am feeling is a hard, firm, globular structure, which tells me that yes, the presentation is cephalic. Now, try to move the head of the baby from side to side. Right, this is what is called as this. You have to move it from side to side. This is called as balotability. Now, in my patient, I cannot move the head of the baby from side to side. Right, that means that the head of the baby has entered the pelvis and that means head of the baby is fixed. So, Leupold's third maneuver, which is called as the Pollock grip. What does it tell you? It tells you about the presentation and also, it tells you about balotability, that whether the head is balotable or not. In other words, it tells you whether the head has entered the pelvis or head it has not yet entered the pelvis. If head has entered the pelvis, you say that the head is fixed. Clear? Now, once I am done with Leupold's third maneuver, now I have to change my position and I have to see towards the feet of the patient. Now, I am going to face towards the feet of my patient and perform Leupold's fourth maneuver, which is called as the deep pelvic grip. Now, keep your fingers parallel to inguinal ligament and try to palpate what you can feel. Okay. What I can feel is again a firm globular structure and that confirms, reconfirms to me that this is cephalic presentation. Now I am going to bring, try to bring my fingers below the presenting part. Now when I am trying to bring my finger below the presenting part, I am unable to go below the presenting part and my fingers are automatically diverging. Now, because my fingers over here are unable to go below the presenting part, no matter how much I am trying, right, and they are diverging, this means the head of the baby has entered the pelvis. If your fingers can go below the presenting part and they converge, that means head has not entered the pelvis, which is not in this case. In this case, I am unable to take my fingers below the presenting part. So, what is Leupold's fourth maneuver telling you? It is confirming the findings of Leupold's third maneuver. It is telling you number one presentation. Number two, it is telling you that the head of the baby has entered the pelvis. Right? And third thing, one additional information which Leupold's fourth maneuver gives you is about the attitude of the baby. As of now, in undergraduate level, you don't need to know how you come to know about the attitude of the baby. Now, just one thing which I want all of you to understand. When head of the baby enters the pelvis, we say that the head of the baby is fixed, right? Engagement and fixed are two different things. Please understand, Bacho, that when you are feeling the head of the baby, right? Now you have to see that how many fingers of yours are required to cover the entire head. Normally, all your five fingers are required to cover the entire head of the baby and then you say that the head of the baby is five by five palpable, right? Now, suppose head of the baby enters the pelvis slightly. When it enters the head of the, uh, when the head of the baby enters into the pelvis, you say that the head is fixed. Now, suppose only four fingers are required to cover the head. Right? So you will say head of the baby is four-fifth palpable but the head is fixed because it has entered the pelvis. Now suppose head goes deeper inside and three fingers are required to cover the head. So head is three by five palpable. Now head goes more deeper and only two fingers are can be taken onto the, uh, you know, are required to cover the head of the baby. Then you say head is two-fifth palpable. Now, the moment head is two-fifth palpable per abdominally or less than two-fifth palpable per abdominally, then you say that the head of the baby is engaged. So, when I am doing Leupold's fourth maneuver, not only I can come to know whether the head is fixed or not, simultaneously with my fingers, I can come to know how much of my fingers are required to cover the head of the baby. Now, in this case, my three fingers are covering the entire head of the baby, which means that although the head is fixed, 
it is 3 by 5 palpable per abdominally that means it is not yet engaged right so the head of my patient is not yet engaged clear to all of you remember engagement in primary gravida happens around 38 weeks of pregnancy whereas in multi gravida patients it happens at the onset of labor clear to all of you one last thing which i want you to know is that per abdominally if you see in this patient there is such a nice baby bump do you see over here that area below the umbilicus is not flat right now suppose in some patient you see that area below the umbilicus is flattened that is some umbilical flattening and that means that it is occipital posterior position in occipital posterior position fetal heart sounds are heard near the flank of the mother Whereas this is a typical case of occipital anterior position and here the fetal heart sounds will be heard close to the umbilicus. Clear to all of you?